Good morning. It is great to see you all. Thank you for joining us this morning. I'm just getting all of my computer pieces set up, getting on the app. So if you're on the app, welcome. And for those of you that are on Facebook, welcome to you also. I'm just gonna turn myself down because I can hear myself over here. So we are so excited that you are here. I'm Laura, I am the owner of Rustic Scoop and so excited to be able to be here with you to make pita bread. We're gonna make this quick today because it is a simple and quick recipe and so we don't wanna take up all your time. And I also want you to know that you can do this any night of the week and have a great dinner very quickly. So today we are making pita bread. The recipe is up on the blog for you so that you have the recipe. It is made with our pizza crust mix, so we'll get into that. And this month we are selling our sampler, which is one of every of our products. We have four products, pizza, they're all gluten-free and they're all top eight allergen free. We have a pancake and a waffle. We have a chocolate cake and a cupcake. And we also have sandwich bread. They all make other products as well, um, but they're all fantastic what is in the bag. And so the sampler this month is one of each of them. And if you want it, just comment sold 100 in the comment section and we will joyfully get our products out to you. So we're gonna hop right in this morning. If you have questions, let us know uh, in the comment section. I will do my best to answer any questions that you may have. And if I do not get to them, I will come back at the end and I will answer them in the text box. And um, yeah, so here we go. So we're gonna start with our pizza crust mix. This is gluten-free, top nine allergen free, and you can make it, it's vegan as well. And we give options to have a vegan um, also. Hold on, I'm getting questions, okay. So we're just gonna, in a stand mixer, you are going to put, put your dry mix. I have my stand mixer fitted with a paddle attachment because this dough does get a little bit thick. And you could do it with um, your whisk attachment, but I like using with the paddle. I think it works better. So we're just gonna dump this in here really quick. And then, this recipe calls for extra psyllium husk. This comes with your order, so no need to worry about adding it yourself. Just a second, I'm reading questions. Okay, so we're gonna add the extra psyllium, psyllium husk that again comes with your order. You just go ahead and dump it in here. And then we're gonna mix real briefly just to get it combined well. If you're just now joining us, we are making pita bread. It's not the kind with the pocket, it is the fluffy kind that if you go to the Middle East or Greece, which I've done, um, I spent a couple weeks traveling Greece many years ago, and it's the nice thick fluffy pita bread that you get a uh, Greek gyro or souvlaki as they call it there. That's what we are making today. Uh, next is yeast, you're gonna put, if you don't, work with yeast very often, <coughs> excuse me, I suggest you put your yeast in your water. This is warm water. Again, it's on the recipe. The recipe is on the blog, so you can get it there. You're gonna put your yeast in your water along with your sweetener so that it can get foamy, and that tells you that you know that your yeast is alive. If it doesn't foam up after you mix them together and sit it for about five minutes, you know that the yeast didn't work and you're gonna to need to start over. Your water should be um, warm, a little hot to the touch, but it sh certainly should not burn you. It should be fine for you to stick your finger in. That's how you know that it's warm enough to actually activate the yeast. But I use yeast every day and so I know mine is alive and for time's sake, I'm just gonna dump mine in the dry. If you bake with yeast a lot and you know that your yeast is alive, then go ahead and throw it in your dry. grab a spatula really fast so I can scrape down my sides 
Now you're just gonna add in all of your liquid ingredients. This recipe calls for both water and milk. So I'm gonna put the water in and just mixing on low and then off. You don't have to get it all the way mixed in. And then any milk will work. You want it to be pretty neutral tasting. So those of you that are dairy free, if you can do coconut, it's so delicious. Coconut milk beverage in the carton is our favorite for sure. It's in the green carton. Um, it behaves the most like traditional milk without a funky flavor. Um, so it's just whatever works for you though. If that doesn't work for you, then use something else. But if you do like a rice milk for those that are dairy free, the end result won't be as fluffy because the milk is really thin. It's fine and it will totally work. It'll just be a little thinner. Oh yes, yeah. so this is also the recipe that Vanessa's family used to make calzones. So maybe we'll have to make calzones or pizza pockets sometime soon on a live as well. If you would like that, we would love to do that as well. Um, so I know some of you were responding to her posting about um, the calzone that her son made. We loved being able to see them make um, our mix and love it. Next, you're gonna put in oil and a light tasting oil. Um, this is a light olive oil. You just don't want it to have a heavy flavor. And then this is white vinegar. You can also use apple cider vinegar if you need to. That totally works. If you can't use a vinegar, you can use a lemon juice as well. You just need um, an acid to be able to interact with the baking soda that is in the mix to get it to rise. So you get a nice fluffy pita bread. So I, this is my sweetener. You can use liquid or you can use granulated. I'm using honey. Obviously, if you're vegan, you're gonna need to use something else. Um, we've done maple syrup, coconut sugar, um, regular cane sugar, it all works. We do our best to try everything so that you don't have to. So we know what works and doesn't work so we can pass it on to you so you're not wasting your time and money um, experimenting. If you ever have questions about our mixes and what you can add or can't add, just send us an email or a text or find us on social media and we're happy to help you out. Again, if you're just joining us, we're making uh, gluten-free, top nine allergen-free pita bread today. So I'm gonna mix real quick, and if you wanna buy the whole set of our sampler, just comment sold 100, and you got it. So we're mixing on medium speed. I'll show you when I'm done so you know what it looks like. common ingredients that everybody's gonna have in your house you don't need to go take a special trip to get anything that um, you're gonna need to put in our pita bread today I'm gonna lift this up as you can see I was gonna use my finger but I don't want to do that <laughs> um, so it is yes yeah, stiff ish dough it's not super stiff um, but it's definitely not liquidy and don't panic when you first put in your liquid and you start um, mixing it it's going to look really watery but when you're done adding all the liquid and you mix it for quite some time it thickens up nicely so not to worry just gonna continue to scrape this down and then we're off and running and it won't be too long before we're done again if you have questions let us know we're making pita bread and it's not the kind with the pocket it is the nice fluffy um soft and tender on the inside that you would get like in the Mediterranean or Greece. And so that is what we are going to do today. We use this for Greek food. I'm actually making Greek food tonight for dinner, making chicken souvlaki. You can marinate your chicken all day long while you're at work or you're doing other things during the day. And these are super easy. You can freeze them also. So if you want to make them ahead of time, you can totally do that. Um, again, if you wanna buy our sampler four pack of all of our mixes, we have a pizza, a bread, pancake and waffle and chocolate cake and cupcake. Um, you get one of each in our sampler this month and you just comment sold 100 
in the comment section and it is yours. So I'm going to move this and I have an electric skillet here. I'm gonna turn the heat up to about 350. Now normally I would do this on the stove on about medium, low medium heat, but you can't see my oven, so, or my stove. So it's easier for me to do it with an electric skillet. So I'm heating that up. I'm gonna stick it to the side. I'm gonna lay out a silpat mat so that when I press these out, that um, my parchment paper doesn't slide everywhere. So now you're going to get parchment. And I don't use the kind that is folded because then it will give you a crease in your pita bread. And then when you go to fold your pita bread to eat it, it will crack where the line is. So we don't wanna do that. So this is out of a roll. And I'm just gonna put it down here. I'm gonna spray it with some non-stick spray gently. Then I'm gonna take a large cookie scoop. We aren't called rustic scoop for nothing. We love scoops. I use scoops every day and I use them so much I break them all the time um, because they get so much use. I'm sure if I was a normal person, I would have them for years. It's not the product. Anyway, so this is about a third of a cup um, liquid volume. You can also use a third of a cup um, measuring cup. I would spray it with some um, non-stick spray. And then you're just gonna put it in the middle of your parchment paper. And I'm gonna spray a top piece as well. And then, honestly, it's so easy. I mean, you can use a rolling pin if you want, but it's totally not necessary. I just use my hand and I kind of go in a circle going out and you want to press it until it is, I don't know, between a quarter of an inch and a half inch thick. It really is up to you um, how big your pitas are, but you don't wanna do them too thin and you don't wanna do them too thick. I know. So I made a small one to start so you can see it really nicely, um, how thick it is. So I am going to show you Oh, somebody asked what mix is being used. It's a great question, thank you. Um, so this is using our pizza crust mix. And the recipe is on the blog, so you can get it there. So you can see, I have it, it's about a quarter inch thick. And it's going to rise while it cooks because again, it has yeast. And so I'm going to put some olive oil in my pan. I'm gonna try to do my best to move this over so you can see my electric skillet. And then I'll just make one or two more and then we'll be done. Cause that's really all that there is to it. And you don't have to watch me make all of them. But anyway, so I'm gonna put a little bit of oil. This is just light tasting olive oil. And then I'm gonna take this. It's on my parchment paper cause I'm lazy and it's quick and easy. And so I just flip it straight on and then use a finger to kind of get it off and you pull it off and my kids do this. If you have kids that are um, safe in the kitchen, obviously you don't want them doing it if they're not old enough to not burn themselves, but my kids are a bit older. And so they can do it, they love doing it. They think it's super fun to be able to flip um, into here. So now I'm gonna put this to the side so you can't see it while it cooks. And this is really how fast it goes, is that while it's cooking, I'm gonna press out another one. And when I'm done pressing it out, that's done. And you just do this whole rotation. Um, so I'm looking at questions. Okay, so this one I'll make a little bit bigger. And again, size is totally up to you. So this is probably more like a half a cup of dough. I'm gonna blop it down. I'm gonna spray this real fast. And the, this recipe makes 12 pitas. And so really it takes you about 15 minutes just to do these and a couple minutes to mix. So in 20 minutes or so, you have amazing, fluffy, gluten-free, uh, top nine allergen-free pita bread for dinner. It's amazing. Um, again, it's super easy. You can use um, a rolling pin if you'd prefer to use a rolling pin, but my hand works 
fine because the dough is soft. And they don't have to be perfectly round unless you're a perfectionist. And if you are, to each his own and you go for it. Um, so again, I'm pulling the top off and I will show you now what this looks like. So you can see it's kind of bubbly on the top, kind of like a pancake, but it's not a pancake, but you can see it starting to get nice fluffy holes. And then we're gonna flip it over. I'll show you what it looks like when it's completely done. Again, if you're just joining us, um, we are using our, I'm Laura with Rustic Scoop, I'm the owner, and we're using our pizza crust mix today. If you'd like to buy a sampler, one of all of our products, just comment what sold 100 in the comment section. And again, so I rolled it out, quarter-ish inch thick, maybe a little bit thicker. And I'm gonna grab a plate. We do, so there's a comment about um, loving that our mixes are kid-friendly. We have kids and our kids have always been in the kitchen, literally since they could sit up, I had them in the kitchen. Um, because we live with celiac disease and multiple food allergies. So they had to be in the kitchen with me because I had to be in the kitchen cooking for them. And so we really, it's really important to us that our recipes are easy enough for kids to make and it's also fun for kids. And if it's not easy for kids to do, like sometimes we do frying, we let you know that too. But we absolutely think it's important to have kids in the kitchen. And I'm gonna grab a plate for this and then I'm gonna show you exactly what it looks like. I'm super fancy, I found a paper plate. <laughs> so here is our pita. So you can see it's this nice golden brown on the top. Um, you can see it is pliable, it's foldable, it's nice and soft. I'll peel it open, it's kind of hot. So I'll do it in just a second. I'm gonna put another one on here. I will tell you in just a second, the question was what other mixes come in our sampler? So hang on just a second. I am going to take again, um, this is our dough. I'm just gonna flip it straight from the paper because I want the easiest, laziest way to cook. And I just flip it on. And if you didn't see me do it first, you can go back and watch. Um, you just peel it off, it's super easy. Um, Okay, so while that is cooking, I will answer the question. So in the sampler, um, there are we have four mixes currently. So it is pizza crust, which we are using today. And then we have a pancake and waffle mix. We have a chocolate cake and cupcake mix. And then we also have a sandwich bread mix. They're all gluten-free, they're all top eight allergen-free. And so you get one of each of those in the sampler this month. And so if you would like to purchase that, just put um, sold 100 in the comment section. So thank you for asking that question. Again, let us know if you have other questions. And I'm just gonna make one more and then we're gonna go. So if you have questions, make sure that you ask them now. And if something comes up later, feel free to either DM me, PM me, email, text, wherever you can find me on social media or on our website, you can do that. So we'll just make another one real fast. Um, these smell so good. I wish you could smell it. <laughs> we absolutely love this meal. It is amazing. So we're going to do chicken souvlaki or chicken gyros um, tonight for dinner. You're going to do, depending how big you want them, this is about a half a cup. You're just going to put it out, spray your other paper, use your hand to press it out. Um, so we're doing chicken euros tonight for souvlaki um, and we will have a tzatziki sauce and we will have rice on the side. Um, we've done, often done falafel with um, a gluten-free recipe for falafel, um, which we absolutely love. That's one thing that I really missed. Um, so I'm just pressing out here. It's really easy and soft and tender but doesn't fall apart, don't worry. I know some gluten-free stuff falls apart, this doesn't. So I'm going to flip and then we're just about done. You can see again the um, nice divots, which is the fluff, and then we flip it over. And that's it. So thank you so much for joining us to make pita bread today. Again, I will show you what it looks like because you, oh, I was gonna open it, sorry, I forgot. 
So anyways, these are our pitas. You can see how nice and fluffy. You can see all the air pockets. It's nice and golden brown on both sides. It's pliable, it won't break. There's no funky texture or flavor. It is amazing. Okay, so I'm gonna pull it open. So watch, it's just like this amazingly beautiful texture. You would not know it's gluten-free or top nine allergen-free, but it is. So you can see the inside is nice and fluffy. It's soft, it's tender, but not crumbly and not strange. So um, that is our pita bread. I hope you make it, I hope you love it. And again, if you have questions, let us, night, let us know. Um, I hope you do make it tonight and thank you for joining us. I'm Laura, I'm the owner of Rustic Scoop. Um, we will see you soon because we will be doing other lives soon too. Have a good one.